What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, oh, how? that is when you're in for. I talk about development, tech, software stuff, mostly about everything. Let me know what else you guys want to talk about. That's what you're going to be expected from here if you're new here. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. So, question for you guys. Would you buy a 15 year old camera? Because I, I, I did. And this is what I got. Nikon D50. Let's talk about it. So first, let's talk about the camera itself. And this is the Nikon D50. This is a six megapixel camera with a CCD sensor, which is a crop sensor camera. It actually only has five autofocus points, which is about normal for 2005. Um, I, doing my research about it and everything. With that, autofocus on this is pretty amazing. I'm gonna show you guys some of the pictures later on in the video, so make sure you stick through. It only has a two inch display, so compared to my ZV-1, which I'm recording on right now, it's a three inch display, so size matters. And one of the weirdest things about this camera is it only supports with a two gigabyte SD card. Now, not just any SD card. It has to be a first gen SD card. Our SD cards from 256 megabytes to Two gigabytes and that's that's about it another thing about this camera is that this camera compared to my ZV-1 feels fairly heavy it's 540 grams compared to the 294 grams that my ZV-1 weighs so it's a huge difference you know comparatively speaking it's almost double the size weight of my ZV-1 but it it, it just feels he like hefty like it feels like it's built to last and obviously it is it's 16 years old and I'm still using it because I only picked this up for $25 off a friend of mine and I originally picked it up to teach my kids photography and I started taking pictures with them because they wanted to use my ZV-1 and I'm like, yeah, it's the only camera I have and it's kind of expensive to give it to a seven-year-old. Um, so I ended up picking this up for them from a friend of mine for $25 and doing some research, I found out that this camera retailed at originally for $7.99 when it first came out back 16 years ago. Um, so I, I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, I'm just happy that like my kids are getting into something that they're passionate about. The best part about all this is that I'm actually also learning photography alongside with my kids, which is fun. Um, I used to be super into it back in 2014. A few years ago, I picked up a T3 and I absolutely loved it. Um, I ended up having to sell it and all that. So I, I kind of got away from it. I'm getting back into it now and I'm learning with them and this is very different because I have to use the actual optical viewfinder. Um, I don't have an actual live view display on this camera again because it's from 2005. I'm not sure if any other cameras from 2005 did at that time. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys do. Um, but again, it's it's fun because like you actually sit there around walking around and like actually pulling it up to your face when a lot of people just, you know, have the tilt screen and it's makes you appreciate the small things in life when you know you don't have to do this every time um, all right so i know what you guys are here i know you guys want to see you know what this camera is capable of you want to see the pictures so let's take a trip downtown take some pictures show you guys what i got Cool, hope you guys enjoyed that. Some quick drone footage, always gotta sneak that in there. So this first picture right here is a picture, one of my favorite pictures that I took. Um, this was taken in optimal situation. This was about 5.30, 6 o'clock, right after work. I went downtown, um, the sun was still bright. Um, it was not like noon, so it wasn't like super bright out, but it was starting, you know, sun was starting to set a little bit. It was about 6 o'clock, and I got the picture of the dog. So this was actually with this zoom lens. And also, just so you guys know, I got this camera with two lenses. I got this with an 18 to 35, and a 50, 18 to 55, and a 55 to 200 millimeter lens. Um, again, so pretty good. Um, the 200 has actually been my favorite, and I'll show you guys why at the very end. Um, sorry, kinda, you know, gotta keep you guys waiting for that, but you guys are, if you guys stick around, you're gonna really appreciate the shot, it's really cool. And, this picture of the church, again, downtown area. Uh, I really like this picture mostly because the sky was actually just really blue that day. There was no clouds and it, that's exactly what it looked like. 
Um, and it's weird because at first those little green stains on the picture, I thought it was a camera. And when I reviewed the drone footage that you guys saw earlier, I'm like, oh, it's actually the heart of the church. Wow, at six megapixels, it actually captured all the details and all the little things like that where, you know, I wasn't expecting from this camera. Now, again, 16 year old camera, six megapixels, and you know, a crop sensor body. So uh, I'm not, ex my expectations weren't up here, but the more and more pictures I was taking, the more I was like, wow, this is actually very nice. Okay, so these two pictures right here, one, two, are <clears throat> where the camera struggles. Starting the sun was a little bit lower. It was about 7.30ish already. I was already downtown for like an hour and it was in the shade. And as you can see, there's a lot of noise. Now I didn't edit, I wanted to keep these pictures as original as I can. I didn't try to edit them. If anything, I opened up a Lightroom, I hit auto and I exported them just, and again, it wasn't like super dark out, but you could see the noise in both of these pictures. Um, I actually tried to record this talking head outside originally, which is what the camera pictures, um, while I was taking the pictures, but it didn't go as planned. All right, so now some portraits. Um, so I took some portraits of my wife. She was not having it, but she really enjoyed the pictures. She actually loved them a lot. This picture right here, uh, this was actually a funny picture. This is like the first picture I took for her, where I'm like, hey, babe, turn around, grab the camera. I don't even think I looked through the optical viewfinder. I literally just snapped the photo. And this is the picture I got. All right, so I promise you guys two, one fun picture by guys, two for you um, at the very end, and these are it. So these two pictures I absolutely love. Um, the first one is of my cat, Boots, and this was him just a few seconds before he jumped um, with the flash on, again, auto settings. Um, I was sitting across in the dining room. He was sitting on the couch in my living room and I zoomed it in with the 200 millimeter lens and I snapped the photo. And you could see the details in his eyes and his fur and his whiskers. And I just love that I was able to capture a picture like that on this camera, again, 16 years old. So it's usable, which is what's insane to me. And my number one favorite photo, you guys probably saw it on Twitter already, I shared this one, but is, I took a picture of the full moon, 200. This one was impressive because again, autofocus, which I said it earlier, has five autofocus points, but the fact that it was able to focus on the moon instantly, I literally grabbed my camera, waited for a cloud to pass by, put it up, zoomed in all the way, took the picture, and that, that's literally all I did. Like, nothing special, no tripod, nothing. Just sat on the wall, waited for the cloud to pass by. As soon as the, I saw the full moon, snapped the photo. And this is it. Like, that's it, guys. Just just wanted to do a quick video about this. I, I just bought the camera for my kids, and I started taking pictures with it. I'm like, this is interesting. Like, I was not expecting these results. I have to share this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys have any ideas or you want to see anything else, put it down in the comments below. I do, I did find my Raspberry Pi, so expect some videos on that soon, maybe. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Peace.